Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another week of marathon training. You know around here I'm training for the London and Manchester marathons. I'm down in South End and it's really windy. This week we're going to be talking about gels, but also I'll give you a bit of a recap on the running show. Before that, I'm going to finish this one. So, I'm going to get a shower changed. Uh, then we're going to talk about the running show, give you a bit of feedback from there, and then I'll talk to you about gels. Woo, I enjoyed that. Oh, that's better. It's been a tiring, tiring week. You would not believe how much of a hangover I've had from the National Running Show. Anyway, training this week, just quickly on that. Five runs. Um, Back into my usual routine, recovery, speed, um, bit of a more of a focus session, um, nice easy pace run at the end of the week, and then a long run on the Saturday. So that was tick to box, back in it, uh, back in the full swing of things. Um, I don't know if it's next week, I think we're next week we've got the winter 10K, so I'm gonna have to play around with my um, training and I'll let you know how that goes next week. So, uh, national running show, bit of a recap. Uh, that was a great uh, couple of days, exhausting. Thanks to everybody who came over to the stand and everybody who, you know, stopped by and chatted and, and, and just shared the love. It was amazing. Um, it was really cool having our own stand. It was something very different for us. Um, putting it all together, taking it all down, all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, the National Running Show in general this year, uh, I think it was like 50% bigger than it's been. Uh, it was in its third year at Birmingham. It's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And in June, there's gonna be a, a London version, which is gonna be very cool. Uh, we will be there, and we'll have a slightly different presence there because that weekend is the South End Half Marathon, which is a massive race for us as a community. Um, so I'll probably be there on the Saturday, um, but not the Sunday. And we'll probably do a run or something on the Saturday as well um, to coincide with it. But yeah, still an ambassador. So if you want tickets for the London show, I use my code, it's AMB17. Um, but yeah, in general, just a bit of feedback on the uh, the show itself. It was definitely more of an um, ultra kind of feel to it. I think because of the speakers and the guests that they had, there was a, there was a few, obviously there was the Ultra Zone, there was the Bad Boy Running Podcast um, thing going on. So they had a bit of an ultra feel, which is, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, actually I thought it was quite a cool thing because you get to meet different people. Um, a lot of focus on that. Uh, the shoes, people were buy, saying to me uh, that actually they weren't that cheap versus what they were expecting. Uh, so it's a little bit of honest feedback. Uh, not the people uh, from the shoe <laughs> retailers care, but yeah, people were saying that actually the shoe uh, prices were a lot higher than what they're expecting. Uh, in particular, like Hoka, for example, who have got the Clifton 7 coming out in, was it June, May, June, something like that. They were still selling the 6 quite at a high price. So I'm not so sure about that, but there was a lot of cool stands there, a lot of hydration, a lot of... Um, Different things like aftershocks were there again. Um, but yeah, there was, there was just some cool things. So I would recommend it um, if you're not uh, looking at Birmingham, maybe try and get to the London show. Uh, I know um, a lot of our guys are gonna be going to that. So yeah, definitely check that out. But yeah, huge success. So big shout out to the guys at the National Running Show. It was a major success, congratulations on that. And I seriously would recommend uh, going to either London or Birmingham next year. Right, so gels, I'm just about to go out and do my add-up session, but before I do, I'm getting my stuff sorted out for tomorrow. Um, and I've got a couple of new boxes of human gels, which I'm just uh, sorting out. So, uh, with regards to gels, uh, I mean, I did a video on natural ways to hydrate uh, your long runs, check that out. Um, it's on the channel, it's one of the most recent ones we've done. Um, but, and I'll put a link up, but the, 
Thing with gels are, they are a super awesome convenient way of taking on calories while you're out doing your long runs. I personally um, will fuel every 45 minutes. I'm looking to take on 100 calories uh, every 45 minutes when I'm out there doing my long runs. Um, in particular, well, if I'm doing a, a slow long run, I'll take it every 60 minutes. But while I'm doing this sub four marathon training, I'm looking to take it every 45 minutes. Now the Humor gels, um, which is the one I prefer to take, does have 100 calories in it, and it's only 44, uh, 43 grams. So there's 100 calories in this 43 gram packet. Uh, these are all natural, um, and they are totally vegan friendly, and there's no crap in them basically so that's why I use them they're very easy on the stomach and there's loads of flavors but for me strawberry as you can see strawberry is my favorite the one I have been trying is this is the Kendall milk um, Kendall uh, mint company and these are the what is it hang on KMC NRG gel plus now I got given these um, I think they're in like a bag or well, you know when you get given some um, some stuff, so I always like to try stuff I get given. And I've actually been getting on all right with these. Um, the reason I've been trying these is because sometimes these, because they're sweet, and they're not over sweet like um, the Sports and Science ones or the GU ones where they're so sweet, um, these have got like a mint taste to them, so they're actually a bit fresher in your mouth. The only problem I've had for me is that they're quite it's quite a lot in there 70 grams in there and I can't <laughs> I can't yet work out how I can get these into my marathon training uh, into my marathon fueling I know it's basic simple maths but I'm a simple person and for me I know at the moment that I need to take one of these every 45 minutes and that does the job so I'm kind of I, I want to implement these but I think I may wait until the summer but these are one to try um, again vegan friendly easy digestion these are more of a, a liquid than these these are more of a um, like the stuff you get in the corner of a yogurt uh, pot where you pour on that's what they feel like um, but these are more of a liquid talking about liquid um, ones one you can try which people do get on with are the high five ones them uh, I know Billy tries them uh, tries them uses them they are more of like I say like a liquid uh, he gets on very well with them so if you're looking uh, around with gels High five is another one to try. He gets on okay with them. Uh, another one are the Morton ones. I think I say you pronounce it. They're the ones that Kipchoge used. Um, Eddie uses them and he gets on very well with them. They're not cheap though. Uh, that's the only thing I would say with those, but obviously they're of high quality. Uh, so you get what you pay for. Um, and the other one, which um, may be worth you trying if you're struggling with gels uh, with regards to your digestion, but you want the convenience, is the Active Fruit Gel Mix. Now this is brand new out from the guys at Active Root. Now I'm a big fan of Active Root, and that's not just because I'm an ambassador, but I love the fact that it's a natural product. Um, obviously it's ginger based, so it's very easy on the stomach. And the fact that they've now brought out a gel is awesome. Now I've only tried this a few times and you have to make it up before you go out. So just, to, you probably can't read that. Uh, you've got some scoops. Well, let me show you, hang on, let me put the camera down. So in here, you've got, I love the smell of ginger, I don't know about you. Uh, you've got your scoop, so you scoop it out uh, and you stick three of those in and you mix it up with water and then you take them out. Um, I've say I've used it a couple of times just to really try it out, see what it tastes like and stuff like that. And I like it, but I like ginger and I'm a big fan of the Active Root um, ginger products anyway. But it might be something interesting for you. It's got a bit of peppermint in it and that lot, so it's, as I say, it's not just pure ginger that you're, that you're tasting. It's got a nice mix to it. But this is one thing I have been getting on with as well, taste-wise uh, and digestive-wise. But for me, um, is the humour. I'm trying them. I can recommend because Billy uses them, so um, there's obviously something okay with them. And the Morton ones are okay. The Goo ones are an acquired taste. They're quite uh, sweet. I did a video ages ago on um, gels. I tested a load, and they came. They're all right, but they, they were quite sweet. The sports and science ones is just, it just for me, it was just like neat sugar going into my stomach. But a lot of people do use them and get on with them. You've obviously then got the stuff like tailwind and things like that, but I wanted this week to talk about gels because a lot of people are asking about gels. And people get put off by them because they get scared about these stories about getting the runner's trots and all this. Just find one that suits you. Just play around with them. Um, 
take them out on your 10K runs and, and drop one at 5K. It don't matter um, that you're not doing a long, necessarily a long run. Um, 10K is still a far distance, but you know what I mean. Try them at 5K, see how they feel, see what the texture's like, see if they have any after effects. But just play around, but don't be frightened with gels. Don't worry about all the stories because the chances are there's something out there um, for you that will suit you. As I say, for me personally, it's these, these, or these. But like I say, I can recommend, because uh, other people use them, the High Five, the Morton ones and that lot, so try them as well. But there, there are a few ideas. I wanted to, I wanted to touch base on gels this week because it's this, this, this period of time in marathon training where people are starting to freak out the fact that they've got to take some fuel because they're starting to hit 30 miles and stuff like that. Um, so that's why I wanted to do it this week. And I say, don't forget to check out my video on natural ways to fuel your um, runs as well. That was quite a popular video, so check that out. There's loads of cool things on there. But yeah, definitely give the active route as well. I say it's brand new out. But yeah, that's it guys this week. Um, next week, I don't know what we're gonna do because we've got the winter 10 case. So I don't know how I'm gonna work it out. I may put the vlog out on Saturday next week. Uh, with an update on training and, and whatever we're talking about, uh, whatever I'm going through next week, because we've got the winter 10K on the Sunday. Um, and that video may come out a little bit later because I'm strictly come dancing in the evening. But yeah, so that's it this week. Um, hope that was useful. If you've got any questions about gels, let me know below what gels you're taking, what you'd recommend for anybody else to take. Um, if you've got any questions about gels, because uh, I've tried loads of them. I literally tried all of them. Let me know, put them in the comments below. Thanks for subscribing. Don't forget we've got the competition. As soon as we hit 5,000 uh, subscribers, I'm gonna be giving away two pairs of running shoes. So make sure you get your friends, family, other runners, the dog, the cat, whoever to subscribe. I'll catch you guys later.